Hi, I'm Patrick Smith, two-time world champion team roper, and I'm here with Lone Star Ropes today. This is my rope of choice, the Thunderbird, and I want to talk to you a little bit about something that I think is one of the most controversial topics in team roping healing, and that is the trap versus the scoop, the handshake versus turning your hand flat. So I'm probably going to get some hate mail over this, but I'm fine with it because this is what I truly believe. I hear all these people talking about, well, I set a trap, well, I scoop the feet, all these different things. I'm going to tell you the answer to any of it is timing. Somebody that says they trap a steer, they set their bottom strand in front of the feet and let the steer jump in it. Somebody that they say scoops a steer, they sweep their bottom strand underneath the right leg. Now, I would say that's what I do more than anything. There are times if a steer is trotting or heavy that I might try to stay with my delivery a little longer and make sure that I do get the bottom strand down in front of the feet. But I think that too many people spend way too much time focused on whether they're throwing a trap or whether they're throwing you know, a scoop loop. So focus on your timing because in the end, if you're not in time with the steer and your bottom strand is not getting on the ground, it's not gonna work consistently. So I think it's really important that you learn your position, learn your timing and learn to get the bottom strand down and then your style will develop around whether or not you maybe come in a little more with the top strand first, which I think that's really essentially what a trap is, is people that use more of a top strand set and then their bottom strand drops versus a guy like myself, I don't think about my top strand at all. I only think about the bottom strand and leading that bottom strand to the right leg. So since I started, my theory is if I can set my bottom strand down and have an open swing and set it down outside that right leg, the left leg will have to follow. As long as my bottom strand gets down early enough out here, outside the right leg, and I'm in time with the steer, the rope has no choice but to carry through. Show you one more example of that. I'm gonna swing extremely slow to show you that it's not about force, and I'm gonna set this loop down. Look how much tip comes through. Too many people try to force tips through and try to make sure that they're scooping the steer or trapping the steer. Don't overthink this. Just work on getting your bottom strand to the ground, getting in time with the steer, and then let everybody else on the internet and social media talk about whether you're throwing a trap or scooping the feet. Let's just do our jobs, get the bottom strand down, stay in time and catch two feet.